Ruby. Um, hi everyone, I'm Haley. This is Bitter Kitten Crafts. You can find me on Instagram as Bitter Kitten Crafts. Oops. <laughs> um, and I'm a knitter living in DC. And I wanted to talk to you today about my 2023 making plans. Um, so I decided that this year I'm going to do things a little bit differently than I have in the past. In the past I've done like a make nine or kind of tried to plan for the whole year. And this year I decided I'm just going to do it seasonally. So I'm going to start with winter. So as I was saying, I'm going to start with my winter making plans and kind of progress into spring and see how far I get with what I've planned so far. Um, I know in the past I've tried to get like a little bit ahead of myself and I've planned like almost the whole year's worth of making um, and then I haven't touched a single pattern that I've planned. So this year I want to do things differently um, and kind of make manageable goals that I can actually accomplish in a couple months um, instead of getting really ahead of myself. So first I'll just quickly mention what, I wear, what I'm wearing. I think I've worn this in a couple videos before. This is my Aquamar Light um, by Park and Knit and it is knit in scraps um, and single ply yarn. Um, and I'll show you also my works in progress um, because that's obviously part of my winter making. Um, <laughs> my cat is very needy. <laughs> she is like a little Velcro cat. She's always by my side. So hopefully she will relax a little bit. We'll see. So this winter I'm going on a trip. Um, I'm going to Florida for a week and I'm going with my parents who are retired. So I'm really hoping that I'm going to get like a ton of making done the week I'm there. Um, and you'll see, I took out a couple of spring projects to work on while I'm on the beach. Um, because why not? But first I'll start with my works in progress. Um, so this is the Bubble V Crop by Jessie Maid, and it's in this awesome neon yellow. So this is knit in the Scranton Stitcher, and I'm on the first sleeve. Um, so this is the Scranton Stitcher DK. It's my friend Katie Sue. The colorway is Good Kochi Kopi, um, which is a reference to Bob's Burgers, um, if you've ever watched the show. Um, it's uh, Louise's little, little guy. Hi, Boo. Yes, hello, Boo. <laughs> um, and then this edging is junk yarn. Um, so I'm really, really happy with how this is turning out. I've already knit this pattern once, um, and I went down a needle size. So this is the size large, and I did go down a needle size. So it's pretty much right at like zero inches of ease, which I think will be a really cute contrast to the one I made, which is kind of like off the shoulder. Um, and this neon yellow is going to be perfect for winter. I am so into color. I really hate beige, to be honest. I can't knit with beige. I can't knit with, like, just neutrals. So everything you see um, will probably be... I have one neutral project, and everything else is kind of, like, wildly colored, which is really fun. Um, but I'm a little worried about this one, about running out of yarn, because I split my last skein... <laughs> Hi, boo! I split my last skein into two 50 gram balls, and I'm cutting it a little bit close, as you can see, um, with the first sleeve. So we'll have to see. I'll keep y'all updated on how that goes. <laughs> um, but that's my first work in progress. <laughs> I specifically cast on something just for the trip I'm about to take. Um, so this is living in a little crochet basket that I made um, already this year. This is from like recycled t-shirt yarn that I got at the Upcycle Creative Reuse Center in Virginia and I really love it. Um, it turned out really, really cute. And you can see I've got a project and then my other 50 gram skein in here. So this is the Heya Tank. It is barely anything. It is the Heya Tank by Kiyomi Burgeon um, and it's I'll put a picture of it here. It's like a little v-neck tank. I modified it to knit it in the round um, because it's initially like you knit the front and back panels and I just like wasn't feeling that. So this is in Tussa Silk. Let's see. Tussa Tweed um, by B. Cigarn. And this yarn is from Upcycle Creative Reuse Center too here in Virginia. Um, and you can see the price tag on it, but I paid 10 bucks for the two balls of it that I have. So I'm cutting it close. Um, I'm playing some yarn chicken. <laughs> um, so hopefully I'll be able to get a full tank top out of this, these 500 meters of this yarn. Um, but look at the drape. It's awesome. This is going to be a beautiful project. Like I said, the only neutral that I'm working on, um, 
and it's really cute like tweety little bits which I really think is gonna be beautiful um, but I'll keep y'all updated on how this goes I'm hoping to finish it like pretty promptly um, and it's on size 3 needles so it's gonna be like a very drapey loose gauge um, I'm really excited for this um, so one of the other things I'm bringing on my trip is a work in progress from last spring I made a lot of progress on it and then I just got really burnt out of 3x3 three three ribbing so I put it down um, but it's the ripple crop top by Jessie made I've shown this on one of my previous podcasts um, but I'm gonna show it again now because I'm hoping the next time you see it it'll be finished um, so it's living in this little granny tattooed granny knitting bag which I love um, and this is the ripple crop top by Jessie made um, like I said, I made quite a bit of progress. I finished one whole skein. Um, this is knit in Noro Mirai, which is a cotton um, viscose silk blend. And it's really pretty self-striping yarn. Um, so I do have like a couple inches left to go of the body. And then I'm going to be able to split for the V-neck um, and do the, the fronts, the back, and the sleeves. And then I'll be finished. I did drop some stitches. Um, <laughs> please hold. So I really hope the next time you guys see this, it'll be finished because I think it'll be a great project to wear in the summer. Um, I'm a little bit interested to see how the fronts will pan out because right now the stripes are all pretty equal. Um, but obviously when you change the decreases and stuff, the striping will change. So I'm really curious to see how that'll turn out. Um, keeping an eye on boo. <laughs> but that's this project. And like I said, I really hope the next time you see it, it'll be finished. So next up, I'm going to talk about some knitting plans for projects that I have not started at all. Um, there's three or four different things that I'm hoping to finish kind of by March, by spring, when the weather starts getting warm. Um, and I'm really excited to talk to you about them. So first off, I'll start with two accessories that I have planned. One is like really simple. It's just going to be um, a fingering weight held double beanie for myself. I realized that I've made so many hats, um, but I actually only own two hats that I've made and both of them are in neutrals. So I wanted to pick something from my stash that is certainly not a neutral. Um, and this is from my advent from this year. This is the Little Fox's Knits, um, her summer colorway from her year in yarn advent, which was four sock sets, um, one for each season of the year. And so because I'm headed to the warm weather, I chose the summer color and it's so beautiful and fun. And I think fingering weight hail double will make a really nice, just kind of plain, um, regular old beanie. For myself because I really don't have that many in my collection like I said so this is gonna get cast on um, probably on my trip in the next week and the next time I show it to you hopefully I'll have some progress on it the other accessory that I'm planning to make this winter is a balaclava relaxed hood so I'm actually working on developing a pattern for a hood right now so I want to make a couple um, existing patterns just kind of see different types of construction um, and give myself some options in how I'm gonna write my pattern but this is um, Olan Mills Surrey Silk Cloudy in the colorway Ghost Rider. And this has been hanging out in my stash since I lived in Frederick, Maryland, um, like an hour north of DC where I live now. And this is, um, yeah, from Olan Fiber Mills. I got it at the Knot House, um, which is really sadly closing, I think I've mentioned. So I'm really hoping to knit with some yarn I got there, um, kind of to remember the times I've spent there, because I love that place. Um, and this is going to be, I'll put a picture of the pattern right here. It's going to be just like a relaxed hooded balaclava. Um, and I'm going to hold it double with undyed yarn just to let the colors in this shine. So those are the accessories I'm planning to make. Um, and I have two more garments I want to talk to you about. Um, I do have a lot of knitting planned for this winter. So like fingers crossed, I can get a lot of it done. We will see how it goes. Um, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself to finish all of this stuff, but I would like to cast all of it on. Um, and I do think the garments I have to show you are going to be pretty, it's like a pretty doable in the time frame I've given myself. But like, again, who knows, like no pressure. Um, yeah, let's see. So first I'll show you... The woman in my knitting group and I, we are going to cast on the Shifty together, which is an Andrea Mallory pattern. Again, I'll put a picture right here. Um, it's like a mosaic knitting pattern using Spin Cycle. So I have chosen to use a solid color from my stash. Um, so this is non-superwash. This is BC Garn Semia Melange. 
Um, and I have a bunch of skeins of this hanging out in my stash. So I'm going to be using this beautiful eggplant color um, held with a bunch of spin cycle that I've had in my stash for five years, I think maybe six years this is from this is spin cycle um and it's you know been hanging out in my stash so it definitely is like a little bit dusty i'm gonna recake it to kind of look at the colors inside here i have no idea what colorways these are um hopefully it'll be enough to get through this project but i do have one more skein in like a white color if it doesn't work out and i don't have enough um, but Spin Cycle is a beautiful yarn that kind of changes color gradients as it knits. Um, it's really, really pretty. And I do have this little baggie of Spin Cycle scraps too. So if I run out, um, I have plenty to kind of work with from when I worked at a yarn store up in Frederick. Um, so that's my next pattern. And I think this is going to be so fun to knit it together with everyone. Um, I do have a couple of plans to mod the pattern because it is a pullover jumper and I'm planning to make it into a cardigan and kind of steek it, which is going to be the first time I've ever steeked anything before. Um, and I'm going to cut my knitting, which is terrifying. Um, but I think that for me, a cardigan will be a lot more wearable of a project um, than a pullover. Also because I tend to be really precious with my knitting. Um, and if you're like me and you're nervous to wear fancy stuff sometimes, I think that cardigans are a great choice because obviously you wear like an undershirt that you can throw in the wash and the project that you've worked so hard on will be kind of not sweated in, not, you know, a lot less kind of stress um, on the project. So I think that that's going to be a great choice for me. And it checks off one of my 2023 goals, which is to try new techniques in my knitting. Um, mosaic knitting is not a new technique to me, but steaking absolutely is. So I think that'll be really fun. Um, and the other garment that I want to work on. So my big goal for 2023 is to knit down my giant stash, which is a product of um, like I've been knitting for I think seven years. So a lot of the stuff in my stash is very much lingering in my stash um, like this yarn three or four years old this yarn at least five years old so definitely really feeling good about kind of clearing out my stash giving myself the opportunity to purchase more stuff guilt-free and see a pattern want to knit it buy the yarn and make it um that's like my goal for the end of the year um during the pandemic i definitely was a little bit eager to purchase just for funsies and now i'm kind of in a position where i have purchased too much for funsies and i need to scale back and purchase things intentionally um, and with mindfulness about what I want to wear and not just what colors I like because as you can see from my stash I am a color gal I love brightly colored stuff like I mentioned earlier um, and so sometimes I would just see a pretty color buy the yarn and then now it's been five years and I haven't used it so definitely want to move away from that so the last garment I'm going to talk to you about um, to get me through kind of January, February, and the beginning of March is going to be the Holiday Slipover by Petite Knit. Um, I have tried to knit this pattern, I think, twice now and kind of failed. Um, so this is going to be my third and hopefully final attempt. This is Electric Love by the Scranton Stitcher, who is my friend Katie Sue, and she's the same dyer of my neon yellow sweater I showed you earlier. Um, and I have a bunch of bulky weight scraps of different gray and pink and white shades that I'm going to hold with this. Um, and make a striped holiday slipover. So I think it's going to be really, really cute. And to tie everything together, I'm going to hold this coral mohair from the Little Foxes, who I showed you another um, yarn of hers earlier as well. This is called Morganite, um, and it's a really beautiful color. So I'll put a picture of the pattern here. I think I'm going to hold this. This will be enough to hold through the entire project. So I don't really use that much bulky, so I think that all the bulky weight scraps I have that have been lingering in my stash for like actually truly years will be perfect for this project. Um, clear out as much of my stash as possible. Obviously bulky weight takes up a lot of space. So hopefully kind of <laughs> using up this yarn really quickly on size 11 or 13 needles or whatever it is will really like help kind of move things along. Um, and it should be a quick finish versus the shifty, which will certainly not be a quick finish. Um, I anticipate that taking at least a month plus, definitely plus, um, <laughs> which is totally fine. You know, definitely a labor of love to knit like a fingering sport weight um, mosaic knitting garment with long sleeves and a steak. 
um, but it's totally gonna be worth it. I just definitely wanted to have something on the back burner to kind of chug through really quickly. Um, and so that'll be this. So I have four projects planned, three projects going, and <laughs> a lot of work to do ahead of me. Um, but that's really exciting. I love knitting. I knit every single day. Um, I'm sure a lot of you out there are similar to me. Um, but definitely if you don't have as many projects on your plate or you aren't planning to do as much knitting um, this winter, like don't put any pressure on yourself. Um, do whatever makes you happy. And um, thanks so much for watching. Definitely hit like and subscribe, you know, the whole spiel. Um, and keep an eye out for my next video.